We're talking about esports, not to particularly alienate the Gen Z here. But some of us grew up on video games that probably a lot of the teenagers would find unfamiliar, like Super Mario Brothers, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, Doom later on, and more. But it's important to mention all of this because the cornerstone of video gaming was laid way back in the 1950s. Technological progress in the 90s made video gaming a sport for the masses. Increasingly, better hard hardware, graphics, and expansion of the internet has only fueled not just the coolness of the games, but also the level of interest. Now let's look at how and where esports began, shall we now? It began in the 1960s with the space game Space War, the world's first computer game and is one of the most important games of all time. This is the OG. On to the 70s, the age of the arcades and home consoles. Introduction of Magnavox Odyssey in 1972. It was the first gaming console that could be connected to our television set. That was massive. Arcades were also subsequently established, which made it possible for the public to go there, pay and play. The 80s, the beginning of high score list. Now the bragging rights for gamers, that's the big one, right? You could set high scores with your name to it, leaving a stamp in some sense of your victory behind. Two machines, Asteroid and Starfire arrived, which could let gamers immortalize their name codes against their scores. The 90s came, but better technology sets in the birth of Nintendo. The Nintendo World Championships in the USA in 1900 was a key moment in the evolution of sports. The games were Super Mario Brothers, Rad Racer and Tetris. This was the de decisive turning point in eSports. It became clear that future of competitive gaming would be on PCs and in the network. Games such as Doom, Quake, Unreal are now part of eSports history. As a result of this, the first eSports League was formed towards the late 1900s. Electronic Sports League or Clan Base, which was launched in 1998, bringing in the era of 2000s, which is worldwide networking. Developments in South Korea ensured the next phase, which is World Cyber Games, were held in Seoul in 2000. The first Electronic Sports World Cup took place in 2003, with the grand final conducted in Paris. And now eSports has made its way to the Asian Games. Get that. And what a spectacle it's proving to be. Now let's shift our focus to the virtual world. Where things are going beyond our realm of control. Well, almost. Esports, the newest discipline that's being featured at the Asian Games, has drawn thousands of spectators. And if you think it doesn't take as much skill or rigorous training like other sports, like rowing or wrestling or even chess, think again. The 2023 Asian Games in Hangzhou include seven esports. Arena of Valor Asian Games version, Dota 2, Dream 3 Kingdoms 2, FC Online, League of Legends, Peace Elite Asian Games version. Esports made their debut as a demonstration in the 2018 edition of the Asian Games. That's where they gained a lot of traction, interest and eyeballs. This time, teams from over 30 countries are taking part, consisting of at least 500 gamers. You'd think it's all about a bunch of geeks hammering away at the controls being watched by thousands, but think again and give this a listen. Esports have a very niche following and curiously that's what makes them so popular. There's a clamor for tickets for this discipline. It's been reported that at least 5,000 seats will be sold out for nearly every esports session in Hangzhou. And the best part is the arena and the energy that comes with the esports. The newly built esports center in fact almost resembles a futuristic alien spaceship with neon lights illuminating the arena. Talk about a Dream Asiad sporting venue. And organizers are surely raking in the money. The starting ticket price for a game is $54.80. That's almost eight times more than what it would cost someone to watch a football game. The costliest eSport ticket at the Asian Games is, hold your breath, over $137. We could probably relax and watch the action on a TV screen near us. Or better yet, get inspired to take up eSports. <laughs> 